All right, ladies and gentlemen, a massive economic collapse is coming to the westernized world. I'm Christopher Green. You're watching AMTV. Please like and share this critical update. I want to talk about Kathy Wood. She's the founder and fund manager of ARK Investments. And she says if the Federal Reserve and the Central Bank here in the United States does not pivot soon, we will enter a 1929 Great Depression event. And guess who agrees with her? Elon Musk, allegedly the wealthiest person on the planet. She says if the Fed doesn't pivot and begin cutting rates very, very soon, that we will have a collapse like 1929 and a Great Depression. And she cites examples that we were going through technological innovation then, much like we are now with the invention of electricity and the telephone. And now the inventions of artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, CBDCs, biotech, as we've seen in recent years, transforming our entire society where we enter a new transhuman era. So I want to comment on this because I believe they're right. If the Fed does not pivot soon, and I believe they are pivoting, which means they start or stop the rate hikes and then begin cutting a little bit, we are going to enter a period where there's massive deflation in the United States. And as Americans' real wages continue to collapse, as big tech fires tens of thousands of more employees, and as we see geopolitical conflict spiral out of control, all will get much worse. However, in my opinion, there's a disagreement because I do believe that the criminal Fed will balk. They're the reason for all our problems here in the United States, along with our politicians that are still counting the vote regarding Kerry Lake in Arizona, days after we already found out who won in Florida with Ron DeSantis, proving the point that we are a third world country here in the United States of America. But I believe that they will balk, and I believe that hyperinflation will be a continued theme, much like it was in the buildup to the 20s, the roaring 2020s, and the eventual collapse. And here's what's interesting about this. No matter what, based on her thesis and based on what Elon Musk is saying, and based on even what I'm saying, a Great Depression and a 1929 systemic shock is all but guaranteed. It's just a matter of when and how and if and how long that they draw all of this out. Now, again, I've said, which has been my primary thesis and mission statement the last few years and over the last decade, as I've warned about these government lockdowns, hyperinflation, the eradication of all of our freedoms, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution by a death of a thousand cuts, that instead of allowing the system to blow up, what they're going to do is pull the trigger themselves. And by doing that, they reset the system, which is the word they came up with, to transfer us to an entirely new one. Again, you got to understand this. They did this in 2008-09. When the banks failed, we no longer had capitalism. We just had bank bailouts. And so they snapped their fingers and changed the rules, and they bailed out the too big to fails that caused the collapse in the first place. And now the dollar's collapsing. Now we're entering a new multipolar world where 12 new nation states are joining the BRICS, and they'll be responsible for the majority of global trade. So we see the United States of America sinking as Dementia Joe uh, who says he's going to run again at 80 years old. He can barely remember his name. Okay, I can't read a teleprompter at all. Gaff after gaff, falls over himself, collapses on bicycles. I mean, America is an absolute joke as we lead into this new, not global order, but really a global disorder and a multi-order collapse. So he's meeting via Zoom link or something with the premier of China, Z, <laughs> As if Z will even give Biden the time of day. As if they even respect the weakness of the United States and a growing problem and debt, which the United States of America, we've ruled because of the petrodollar. We've ruled because of the military industrial complex. We've ruled because of the endless failed wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the tragedy of millions and millions of civilians' life lost as a result of America in that part of the world to stabilize the oil trade. And now, as we flee the failed wars like Iraq and Afghanistan and move to new ones, what we're expected that somehow the United States is going to maintain global and world hegemony? No, that's not going to happen at all. 
This is obviously China's world. It is China's game and they're winning. So as we see a credit crisis continue in the United States, we're now entering the phase of the credit collapse. I want you guys to understand this. This is the phase where debt will be your worst lifetime enemy. For example, during the depression, if you were in debt, they stole your farm. In 2008-09, if you were in debt, they stole your house through foreclosures and short sales. The same thing is going to happen again. And so no matter if we get 1929 like Elon Musk and Kathy Wood are warning about, you don't want to be in debt because your property will be confiscated. Or if we're in a hyperinflationary collapse, which is what I believe is going to happen in the short run, at least, as they reset and transfer the system, you're not going to want debt. You're going to want real assets. So the point is, if you're not in real assets, if you're not in things with actual ownership without debt, you're screwed based on both scenarios, 1929 or the roaring 2020s. If we are in hyperinflation and you don't own a real asset, then you won't keep up with inflation. Your money will burn. It'll be worthless, kind of like it is now. 7.5% annualized inflation rates according to the central bank and the Federal Reserve and FRED. That means you lose half of your net worth in like just a few years, ladies and gentlemen. Or a collapse of which if you're in debt and don't real, own real assets and you're leveraged, your assets will be seized, like the Great Depression. We're seeing this in crypto right now too, which is why I never recommend a debt. And I'll comment on that as well regarding Sam Bankman Free. That guy has always been a deep state democratic plant. He is literally a plant of the Democratic Party. He was the largest donor outside of George Soros. He's best buddies with Bill Clinton. He's best friends with all the legislators, Capitol Hill, the SEC, and all of these people that should be protecting the American people. Of course, this was all a setup to regulate the industry, make crypto look bad when it's the greatest invention in our history, and it's the greatest empowering invention for freedom and liberty that's ever existed that has truly democratized wealth outside of the banking system. And notice we're getting credit freezes and bank runs with these exchanges like FTX right now, but you're telling me we're not getting a bank run with the too big to fails that operate a fractional reserve banking system, which means they don't have your friggin' deposits? See, all of this is by design. This whole freaking thing. Kevin O'Leary was promoting FTX. All these guys were. Wall Street was in on it. Politicians were in on it. Legislators were in on it. Capitol Hill was in on it. Why do you think he was donating tens of millions and soon to be billions of dollars to the Democratic Party? Because this is the new Crypto Lolita Express. But it has nothing to do with the good people in crypto at all. But again, it's a sign of the times. And it tells you what I've warned about. Credit collapse. You don't want debt. You don't want leverage. You want real, tangible assets. Whether or not it's the beautiful home I'm in and our portfolio of real estate, an island project, or it is gold and silver. And that's actually what I think you should buy today. I've been warning and I've been telling you and I've been selling you gold and silver for over 15, 16 years. I've told you to buy it. I've told you to get our American Gold Archangel gold bars. I've told you to get the Sovereign Mints, which we just got back in stock, our American Silver Eagles. Buy as many as you can. I've told you to buy our Patriot Metal Silver Bars and stack those sky high reasonably with whatever your budget is. Buy as much as you can today before we sell off and sell out. Because what's going to happen, based on what Kathy Wood is saying, based on what Elon Musk is saying, based on what I've been saying, based on what CNBC is now saying, is either a hyperinflationary roaring 2020s and or a 1929 systemic shock event and World War III, a global disorder and a multipolar new order shakeup, advancement in critical technologies that are reshaping the entire planetary system as big tech fires, doesn't hire, and gets rid of tens of thousands of people. And as we enter political chaos, where we still don't know who won in Arizona, and the Republican Party is barely taking the House, but lost the Senate, and they're bickering over Trump or DeSantis, is the next pick. I mean, we are really at end of days, end of time scenario. 
And I'll leave you with this because I was praying a lot last night and speaking to God. And what he told me, honestly, was kind of bone chilling, but something that I already know. What's coming now is God's wrath, his wrath. And I'm going to talk about this today with my sermon, hopefully later this afternoon. What's coming next is God's wrath. What's coming next is the fire. Because we live in desolation now here in the westernized world. We, our humanity has been ruined and has been eradicated. And we as Christians, brothers and sisters, are not of this world. Just like they hated Jesus, they hate many of us for standing our ground, for not complying, for doing what's right, for building new systems, for seeking our own humanity and the humanity and the kindness and the joy and the love of our churches and our brothers and sisters and everybody that should be working together right now, by the way, to improve what's going on and actually shouting from the rooftops the true one hope in our King Jesus Christ. So anyway, stay tuned for that sermon. I love all of you. God be with all of you. I'm praying for all of you. Thank you for your support, which you guys do for me. I encourage you to buy gold. Get it now at amtvgold.com. That's our world acclaimed website. That's amtvgold.com. Click the link below. Buy those bars. Get the archangels and get the sovereign immense. Buy as many as you can before this hyperinflationary collapse continues. Get out of debt if you're in debt. You don't want debt. You want real ownership of tangible assets during this hyperinflationary economic financial collapse. World War III Great Depression that they caused, that they're responsible for, that plays into their reset and their psychological even power shift and indoctrination of the masses through their fear-mongering and propaganda into the new system. Stand your freaking ground, America. Stand your freaking ground if you're tuning in around the world. Do not freaking comply. Stand up, get what you need, build your communities, all glory to God, get your gold and silver at amtvgold.com. You are running out of time to buy real assets, ladies and gentlemen. You need gold and silver today. You need to be diversifying into precious metals before they skyrocket. We are in a hyperinflationary collapse. It is critical to your survival and wealth preservation that you own sovereign minted coins, that you own American silver eagles, that you get our Archangel Michael gold bars, that you get our Patriot metal, silver, and gold today. Do it at amtvgold.com. Place your order while you still can. God bless all of you. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all who have already ordered. We have your order shipping. They're right on their way. And I love all of you, but take critical action because we are entering the worst of the storm. We are entering God's wrath, a great fire in the collapse of the westernized world and really our greater civilization as we knew it. Protect you, your family, your children, and your legacy at amtvgold.com. That's amtvgold.com. Links below.